For some artwork like this though, I think I'm going to use Illustrator's tracing feature. So I'm going to disable templating. I'm going to go back to my scans and I'm going to select this image directly. Here in the control bar, I see an option image trace. If I push that button, it's going to give me a little warning. It says this image is quite large. Now from memory, this was only about 1500 pixels. Really, for an image like this, I don't really need that much. Now my machine's not slow, so I could continue on with this, but you might as well read the note to reduce the image size, rasterize to a lower resolution. How would you do that? Use object, rasterize, and it will convert this image to something lower resolution. So if I turn it to medium, it's going to reduce the resolution in this image so that this time when I do image trace, there's no warning. Now, it has actually traced it. That is the tracing result. That is finished artwork, which I could then change. How do we get any more information? Well, you can bring up the image trace floating window. If you don't want to do that though, you can just pick a new preset here. The presets are available from the control bar as well as from the image trace window itself. Presets should be fairly straightforward. This is sketched art. We'll be using many of the other presets in other photos which we scan and trace over. There are many, many other additional options hidden under this advanced section, and we will be looking through those as well. For the moment though, I'm happy with that as sketched art, and I'm going to say expand. Expand converts this artwork into real artwork. You can maybe tell from that white box around the outside that it has actually made that as a real item. So I might use my direct selection tool and press select a part of it, press delete twice to get rid of that white box. And now I've got a shape which looks very much like what I drew.